Jason Zwalik here of the Zwalik Group with First Team and Christie's International Real Estate. If you're new to the channel, each week I tackle different real estate topics all in the hopes of helping you navigate the world of home buying, selling, investing, and owning. When it comes to buying a home, you need to budget for costs other than your monthly mortgage payment. It's important to plan and save for the upfront costs required when your offer is accepted and before you close on your home. Let's take a closer look at the key expenses you should be prepared to cover. Remember, the exact amounts will vary based on your specific situation, so be sure to speak with your home buying team about what you should expect. First up, earnest money deposit or good faith deposit. This is an agreed upon amount of money you wire to escrow upon acceptance to show the seller that you're serious about buying the home. During closing, the amount you pay in earnest money will be applied towards your down payment or closing costs. Typically, this is around 3% of the purchase price, but it can be negotiated. Next up, your down payment. A down payment is typically five to 20% of the purchase price of your home. However, qualified borrowers can put down as little as 3%. You need to make sure you speak with multiple lenders so you can look at all your options before buying your home. You'll need to pay for a home inspection. The benefit is the inspection will tell you about the home and any potential maintenance issues you should be aware of. The typical home inspection costs between three and $600. However, this cost can go much higher depending on how in depth you want the inspector to go and if you are requiring specialists to look at items like pools, roofs, sewer lines, etc. When the time comes for a home inspection, your real estate agent should be able to recommend several well-qualified inspectors in your area. You also have to consider closing costs. These are what you will pay to people representing your purchase, including your lender, real estate agent, and other parties involved in the transaction. Closing costs typically include, but are not limited to, government record fees, appraisal fees, credit report fees, lender origination fees, title service fees, attorney or escrow fees, underwriting fees, and association fees. You should budget between two and 5% of the purchase price for closing costs. In some cases, you may be able to roll your closing costs into your home loan. So you'll want to work with your lender to find the approach that best fits your situation. And finally, you'll want to budget for moving costs. Whether you are hiring movers or moving everything on your own, you need to come up with a budget. If you plan to hire a moving company, get quotes from more than one company to ensure you're getting a fair price. Beyond these upfront costs, you will likely have additional recurring payments rolled into your monthly mortgage payment. Be sure to plan for costs such as private mortgage insurance, property taxes, and homeowners insurance. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me directly or comment below. I'll make sure to answer your questions as I'm here to help in any way that I can. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you're notified every time I post. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.